Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be solving the leak out question rotting oranges. Okay, so in this question we're given a grid, and each cell can have one of three values. If it has a value 0, it's an empty cell. If it has the value 1, we have a fresh orange. And if we have the value 2, we have a rotten orange. So every minute, any fresh orange that is adjacent to a rotten orange becomes uh, rotten. And this is four directionally. So what that means that only corresponds to up, down, right, and left. So only those four directions. Okay, and then uh, what we need to do is we need to return the minimum number of minutes that must elapse until no cell has a fresh orange. If it's not possible, then return negative one instead. So let's just take a quick example. So we have this as our input. This represents the first row, second row, third row, and so on. Okay, so in the beginning at minute zero, we have one rotten orange. So what's gonna happen in the next minute is everything adjacent to it, which is up, down, right, and left is gonna become rotten. So over here, down and right becomes rotten uh, because there is no up and left and so on and so forth. And each time that happens, we're going to increase the minute by one. So let's just take a look at an ex other example over here. So over here, we have 0, 2. And what this means is we only have two places. One's an empty cell and one is already rotten. So the answer for this is 0 because um, the oranges are already rotten. So answer is 0. Okay, and then these are some of our conditions, and yeah, let's just get into the code. Okay, so we're going to start off by defining a few things. So we're going to store the length of our row. So the length, sorry, so L underscore row is going to be the length of our row, and that's just going to be the length of our grid. So that's how many rows we have. And the number of columns we have uh, is going to be the length of any one of the lists of our grid. So I'm just going to do grid zero. So over here, we're going to have a variable called rotten, and it's going to be a list. And this list is going to contain the uh, row uh, index and the column index of all of the oranges, which are already rotten. So in other words, it's going to hold the val uh, it's going to hold the coordinates of all the oranges, which have a value of two. So we can just use list comprehension to do that. So we can do I comma J for i in our rows and for j in our columns and we're only going to add it to our list if whatever that element is is equal to 2 so if grid i j is equal to 2 only then we're going to add it to our rotten list so this is going to be in the at minute 0 so what the rotten value holds is all the rotten oranges at minute zero. And we're also going to maintain a variable called count, which is what we're going to return. It's basically the number, the minutes it took to finish this. So now we're going to go inside of a while loop and we're going to call this while rotten. So while there are elements in our rotten uh, list, uh, until then we're going to keep, we're going to stay inside of our while loop. So over here, we're going to redefine our rotten variable. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a function over here. And I'm just going to call that function rotting. And what that will do is it's going to take the current grid and it's going to go to the next minute. So right now we're at minute zero. And what it's going to do is going to go at all of these values over here. And it's going to go to each of those index. And it's going to look at the check the top, it's going to check the bottom, check the right, and check the left. So we're going to have a function over here called rotting. So before we do anything, let's just create this function real quick. So over here, we're going to create our rotting function. And the only arguments that we're going to give it over here are going to be our rotten list. So we're just going to give it rotting. Okay, so over here, I'm going to create a temporary variable, and it's going to be an empty list. And over to this temporary variable, we're going to add all of the neighbors. And in other words, the neighbors are just the adjacent cells, the top, bottom, right, and left. And how are we going to get these? So we're going to get these by going to our rotten list. So for i, comma, j in our rotten list. So we're going to iterate through each and every one of the indices. And we're going to find its neighbors because everything in the rotten list is already rotten. 
and all of its neighbors are now going to become rotten. So we need to find those uh, variables and we're going to do two things once we find it. Once we find it, we're going to add that to our temporary list and we're also going to change its value from one to two because it was fresh and now it's rotten. So we're going to do both of them and I'll just write it all, all out and show you what they what it means and represents. All right, so this is what we have over here and this one checks for the top, this one for the bottom, this one for the left and this one for the right. And how do I do that is because so for the top, we decrease the I value by one since we're going up top. For the bottom, you increase the I value by one. For the left, you decrease the J value by one. And for the right, you increase the J value by one. And over here, we're doing two things. We're adding that to our temporary uh, list. And we are also changing its value from one to two. So uh, we're marking it as being rotten. And at the ending of this, we're gonna return our temporary list. So over here, I'm just gonna return temp. Okay, so now uh, we're gonna call this function in our while loop over here. So rotting, and we need to give it the list, which is the rotten list. Okay, so now that we have this, each time we do this, we're going to increase our count by one. So each time there are gonna be more and more rotten tomatoes and the minutes are going to increase. So we're just gonna increase it by one. And after this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one final check so there are going to be a few cases. Let's say if we have an orange in the corner where if it's fresh, it's never going to become rotten since it has nothing adjacent to it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to iterate through our list one last time. So just do the same thing. So for I in range L row and for J in range of L columns. Okay, so over here, if the value so if we still have a fresh orange so ij if any of them are fresh we're just going to return negative one since we do not have all rotten tomatoes but if this is not the case then we're just going to return our count outside of this okay so this should be our answer so let's try submitting it oh okay so over here this is supposed to be for i in range Sorry, I forgot to add that. And for J in range L calls. Okay, so this should be correct. So now let's submit our answer again. Okay, wait, this is supposed to be a tuple, so I need to put brackets there. And, okay, so this should be correct, hopefully. Submit. So what's happening over here is our we're counting an extra minute. And I forgot to add this over here. And all we need to do is in our while loop. So before we add the count, we need to check if the length of our rotten list is empty. So if the length of rotten is equal to zero, then in that case, we're just going to break out of our loop without adding anything to our count. So this should solve our problem. Okay, submit it. Okay, yeah, and as you can see, our submission did get accepted. And finally, do let me know what you thought about the video. And thanks a lot for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.